What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tappy C. Back with another fishing game. Episode. Cameron's at school, so he's not gonna be in this one. So let me go ahead and grab my tackle out. Okay, so today we're at Bluegill County. The county of bluegills. Uh, take y'all down to the water. I'm trying out. I tried one of these rails out last night. I just got them. I'm trying on my other one today. I just fixed it last night, actually. Hopefully, I don't come across no snakes or anything. All right, so this one right here, the name it's, it's a Mitchell brand. I know that. Uh, it's got a 17 pound test line on it with a little uh, jig head and a little uh, soft bait on it. Got a new bait caster. Still got my other one, my um, Shimano B200. But this one is a Shakespeare LX 1500. Tried it out last night. Worked out pretty well. So, let me try it out again today. I got a little normal hook on there, a thick one. Sliding weight. This is one I have never done before. Got my little uh, Shimano Axle S or Axelis. Whatever. What does that say? Anyway, got that on a Shakespeare Navigator stick. I got uh, two hooks on it, two little grubs on them, little small uh, jig heads. So we're going to start out with that. Put a little more ump on it. What a way to start the day. I mean, this reel is probably going in the trash because it's been giving me issues for like as long as I can remember. It's like a ticking time bomb. So here we go. Let's see how this casts out. We got some success. Awesome. My line didn't snag on me. That's awesome, dude. Okay. This is nice. I like this reel. Yeah. Fair trade. I can always hook one of my other reels up with that. That uh split hook thing, you know, two hooks, two um uh, jig heads. Till I get to the bottom of it. Whoa. Some just ran up on it, man. Looked like a bass. It definitely wasn't no bluegill. Oh, not right next to the turtle, Corey. No, I think I got this Texas rigged on here. To the best of my ability, yeah. Got a Texas rig going on, so. <sighs> I do, I'm feeling this reel, though. I like it. I'm actually impressed. And it's an old reel, obviously. But who cares when you love fishing? Got it for, like, it has to be a dollar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some bait on my Shakespeare right here. I mean, I could always change this to a little crappie hook later. To try my luck with that. But, I see fish. It's always a good sign. So, yeah, people, I got to put a little worm on here. A little long worm, actually. I'm just going to throw him out there and let him sit out there. Let's see. Get it far out there. Uh, that'll work for now. Yeah, I like this one. It's actually very a very controlled cast. Like it doesn't get all it doesn't get the nest very easy. I'll just let that sit out there and watch it. It's really really good man. It looks like a real fish. Or just at least has the colors and the movement of one. So yeah, it's a nice day, you know, can't complain. Nice and early in the morning, so in Florida, around this time of year, it gets pretty, uh, not chilly. Well, the later in the day it gets, the more the heat picks up, but right now it's pretty, uh, 
chill outside. I was going to wear jeans because of the bugs. I used to call them um, gnats up north. We call them no CMs out here, I guess. Florida lingo, or maybe that's just what they're called. I don't know. I don't got much time. I need some kind of action tonight. I mean, today. Oops, wrong way. Man, why does that worm feel so? Wait, I think I got a slide. Oh, yeah, I got a sliding weight on here. That's right. All right, so I'm going to try to get this over here next to these weeds. I have a lot of luck here. There we go. Stop it right there. Reel it in just a bit. Maybe the fish is still sleeping next to these weeds and bushes. You know what? I got to reel this in. This turtle is going to try to take my freaking bait. I know it. He always comes out around this time. That's why I don't like coming out early. I mean, come out early. You got to fight with a turtle. So we're going to just stay right out there. Man, I really want to keep trying my new reel. And also, I'm trying to get up on these, um, you know, these little soft baits and stuff, man. These lures, man. I mean, that's the ultimate way to, especially if you eat fish, you know how much money you save? You get a few good lures to take care of your reels. You only got to go to the store a few times a year. Well, not, not a few times a month, my bad. You know what I mean? If you're that good at fishing. Okay. A little better. Little butter. Little butter. I see my real move. I think that's just the wind because the line wasn't tight or nothing. I might have to refresh this worm, dude, to be honest with you. Ooh! Fish on! What? Holy cow! Ooh, ooh! Do you guys see that? Do you see that? That is a peacock bag. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Look at that. Hold up, buddy. Boom. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Fishing game, baby. Look at that. I got to measure them up, but I might be able to keep them. Wow. Can y'all see that? Just shy of 15. Look at that. Kind of dirty, but look at that. 15, about a little bit, a little bit under 15. Little shy of 15. Peacock bass. Right out here. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice catch. Nice catch. Peacock bass. First fish of the day, bro. A little under 15 inches long. Makes me happy. Does my heart good. These bass, man, I, I really did not think I would catch a bass on a worm, but... Like, I didn't know that they liked worms. But, yeah, man. He swallowed big boy up. Trade one big boy for another big boy. Guess the fish are waking up now. That's good. Ugh. Already? Fish. Ooh. Come on, come on. Oh, man, we getting some action today, peoples. Fishing game is here, baby. Bluegill County. But Bass County. I had to change the name. He might have took my bait. It's kind of on there. Weird. Reworm up. I'm trying to use all the worms. Can Cameron go home from school? Notice I caught a freaking peacock bass. It is on. I'm like, yo, let's go. Let's get back out there. Got a little bit of wiggle action, little. Be 
have it like two or three of these on an early morning. Try to get close to these weeds because that's where they're at. Change this up soon because I ain't getting no luck with this either. Haven't got any takers. Fish on. Oh. See, I'm getting good with these lures, man. So I am getting bites on this guy. All right, let me get you back out there. My lot over here is looking kind of suspect. It's kind of twitching to move it to the side. Yeah, I'm gonna switch him up. Trying to switch him out of there. Ah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave that for a second. Since they only worms, let me just rock with this for a little bit. I'm gonna reel this up a little closer anyway. something oh I hesitated darn it let me get back out there something's over there might be a bluegill fish or a snag I'm Thinking more of a snag that took my hook. You, I want to try for these bluegills, man. But yeah, try this little bluegill hook. See if I get anything on it. Might go five times. Trying to get back out there, man. Anty. Then I'll change my lure to something a little more brighter. You know what dark wood? You're supposed to really use dark lures, but it's not really working. So. You gotta first you find where the fish are at. Heard somebody say this you find where the fish are at, and then you find what the fish want. So I know I think I know where some of them are at, at least if that big guy's out there. Gotta have some family with them. So now I know where they're at. I'll figure out what they want. And I'm going live and I'm using rigs. Like two more on or something like that. And I'll be happy. Park them right here. Little panfish hook on there, little bluegill hook. See if we can't get something. Figure out this lure situation. Hoping not and bite that downtown soon. Just give me a minute. Huh. Even if I don't catch anything else right now, I'm happy with that. Matter of fact, we're going to try this big guy first. I'm that quick. Come on, baby. Come back. Come back. I know you're right there. Unless you had to uh, point me out to go to or something. Let it sit here for a minute. I'm, I don't think he got my worm. I really don't. He's not on. Or is he? Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, he put me on a stick. Trying to put me on that stick talk. <laughs> All right. I see you. He got jokes. He got jokes. He took my worm and it put me on the stick talk. Okay. I'm coming for you. I'm insulted. A little something. I don't like putting too big of a worm on these little crappie hooks. You're going to snatch my, my hard-earned worm and it put me on some stick talk. I don't like that. Could have just left it alone. No, you want to be a smart guy. Try to 
I hook up on another bass. Might not happen uh, every time we catch bass, except when we was in Michigan. The camera kept catching them back to back. But every time we catch bass here, it's like one bass and that's it. They wise up. They're having to having luck at all with this homemade lure. I wish, but nope. Guess that fish heard me talking trash. He ain't coming back now. Go ahead and mess with this worm a little bit. Come on, guys. Come eat. It's right here in front of you. So far, we on the board, man. We got a uh, we got a uh, shell cracker. I thought it was a bluegill. Decent size shell cracker too. We got a shell cracker. We got a um, I, I want to say 15 um 15 inch peacock bass. It's a little less than 15 inches, but we just gonna call it 15. Once again, people, the lure I'm using on this reel is my custom one. Put a little eye on them, a little circle hook on there, a little spoon on the back. One of my other lures I got that I was told you can catch bass on deteriorated on me. I had it next to the wrong type of lure on my tackle, and I didn't want to just waste it and throw it away, so I just kind of took everything apart, took the spoon out the back of them, and I actually might, might like me. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Especially if you catch something on it, which I haven't yet, but we'll see. Now that line with the worm on it is twitching over there. Not twitching, but it's like swimming in the water like a snake. So that sometimes that means something's bothering it. Oh wait, it jumped a little bit. Something might be messing with it. I think something's messing with it. Get up. I'm gonna be ready. It's tight, but then again, that's that sliding weight on it. My lure should be fine out there. Just hope it don't get snagged. Sometimes you want a lure to get snagged so you can stop using it so much. I always go to that one. Ooh, hold up. I felt the thump. Come on. It's still there. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Grab it up. Come on. I know you want it. All right, chilling. All right, I'm going to wait till I get a... Something more reassuring, get a little line, swerve or swivel. Alright, dead meat. This one's done. I ain't messing with him no more for now. Maybe on another day in a different setting, different body of water might get lucky on him, but nothing today, folks. Nothing. So, on that note, All right, guys, that's going to do it for us, man. Uh, fortunately, Bluegill County, well, I should say bass slash Bluegill County, was very fruitful for us today. Uh, gave us a peacock bass and a shell cracker. Unfortunately, I didn't get the shell cracker on because uh, on video because I was changing my battery at the time and my camera wasn't running. But in any case, man, yeah, uh, it's a great place to fish, man. Seriously. Yeah, this is my spot, and it's so close, man. You know, don't got to drive a... 15 miles to get to my location but in any case man i want to thank y'all for stopping by and checking your boy out man rocking with me on fishing game uh we appreciate the love and respect um and as always remember if you like the content you know give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit that notification bell um and plus i got all the links to my other um my other social media outlets um listed in the description uh instagram twitter you know uh, unfortunately, Cam couldn't be with us today because he's at school, but yeah, he's going to be on the next one. Also, stay tuned for the gaming videos, man. They're coming up soon. I'm going to try to do like one every week, if not more. Uh, play a lot of games, and I do a lot of fishing when I'm not working and all that. So yeah, man, again, thank you for stopping by and checking your boy out, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.